Hi everyone, Finbar here from Munisphere PM. Uh, today I just wanted to talk to you about the actual dashboard section in Unisphere uh, performance itself. So what I wanted to walk through here was just showing you the actual power of the dashboard and what you can check in here. So to begin with, um, I'm going to look at, uh, there is a certain amount of predefined or canned dashboards as we call them. So you have your array. So you can see here that the activity started to spike around uh, 10 to 10 to 15 and a reason rights went up significantly there. Um, so let's, de let's uh, go down one level. Let's check out what's happening at the storage group level. So here at the storage group level, I'm going to check um, in respect to response time, host IOs, host megabytes per second. Um, so we can see here that finance, Oracle, host IOs and host megabytes per second have really spiked. Um, so I want to investigate this a little bit further. So I'm just going to click on the link. And we can see here that reads and writes have spiked at around the same time. This is handy if you get a call from an application owner complaining about performance and you notice that the performance in the application has been affected by um, heavy writes and <coughs> heavy reads and writes coming down to the application itself. So you can correlate that back to the storage group here. Um, perhaps a body of work was kicked off around 10, 10, 15, a backup or something else um, that's caused the performance of this application to suffer. Um, I just wanted to walk down through other areas of this. So all dashboards. Again, you get a kind of overall view of what's going on in the box. Some of the storage groups are busier than others. You can see a good summary going down here in these columns in respect to response time, host IOs, host megabytes per second. There's also a summary dashboard which is similar, but we actually go down to the reads and writes levels here. So our host writes, so we can see that this application is being heavily hit at the moment, and there's also one other that's pretty busy. But it gives you a good summary of what, what storage groups are busy in the box and which are not just ticking over, I guess. Um, and finally, the heat map, just the heat map to give you an indication of what's going on there in respect of the back end. Um, so you can see that this backend is not that busy, I guess. Uh, percentage busy on that director is only about 30%, which isn't isn't that much. Uh, just these are some user dashboards that uh, people have created. Um, so let me just show you one for example. This is on the actual storage group that we were looking at, Finance Oracle, and we've added four metrics. Uh, reads and writes and backend writes and backend reads. So you can see here, again, the spike kicked off at a certain time that we saw earlier, about 10.10 was the actual beginning of the, the IO burst uh, load coming into the storage group. So it's a useful if you wanted to um, keep an eye on one specific uh, storage group, you can save it as a dashboard and save it off here. And there are also some user templates you can uh, discover here. So the dashboard section overall is a pretty good indication of what's going on in the box. Uh, it allows you to check on specific storage groups if there are problems and you can de delve down deeper into them if there are. Um, thanks for listening today. Please hit subscribe button and uh, we'll speak again soon.